What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. I'm Chris, that's Mike. We're going back into Westworld for episode four, Riddle of the Sphinx. No, Sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> the Riddle of the Sphinx. Sphinx. How do they get those Spanx on those women? All right, all right. Um, Mikey, <laughs> what's up, man? This was a... Th man? We got some cool... We got uh, uh, some really cool Groundhog Day-ish. Jim Delos... Old, I'm gonna say old Will. I'm gonna say some Will. things, man. That is say some, say some things. No, dude. So yeah, I mean, obviously, did you know that he, that he was a host? At did first, you, no. Did you, did you no, catch no, on no. that he was like not a host? until not not yeah. until he kind of realized it for himself, which is probably the most interesting part of the whole chat uh, and that whole scene in the whole episode is that. Listen, we find out we know what Dallas is doing. They're keeping this rich asshole alive, and that's that was, I mean, yep, that's the whole it, purpose of the park. Well, one of the main purposes of the park is to keep rich people alive. But it was interesting. or or or, or they were working with, on it. They were starting with Jim James Delos, and obviously it didn't work because we kind of get a timeline that it's been, you know, uh, Men of Black says 149 times we've brought you back, and you've only were able to kind of um, last for 30 days, and there's the longest it's been, and it's you know it. It's really cool because that's a big secret. That's a big bombshell that they laid on us yep. this episode. You know what I mean? And we finally get Elsie back, and it's just um, you know a little bit more of the backstory with with who took her, and that it was almost like um, Ford was making Bernard do those things and, and grab Elsie and lock well, it her. Well, wasn't up like this. it was exactly that. That's yeah, exactly and, what he did. He was he was playing. You know, he created Bernard to be his little. Aaron boy but yeah. <clears throat> before we get further along i i, I want to go back to james delos and the whole concept yeah. of the ai or the so obviously the reason why it doesn't work is because the mind our minds are used to essentially like i, I don't know how to put it we're used to a certain way yeah. right so when you allow that to happen like and and you giving and then you give it like a, a confinement and you give it parameters, right? I, it knows it, it's that uncanny valley thing. Like we when we see when we see a human a a, a replica or a, a, a I'm, I'm sorry I'm studying all my words tonight, but when we <laughs> when we see a representation of a human and it's not right, it's not quite right. The eyes don't move right or the skin just doesn't like it's it's that uncanny valley situation where it's like that just doesn't feel right it's playing god it doesn't feel it right is. right and, and the it's point like is, there's a higher power that's not going to allow what they're trying to do to happen yeah because because we're not built that we're not built to be that and so that's why it it ends up we, we knowing, have souls it's you like know? right <laughs> it ends exactly it's like putting an, a foreign organ in your body and like if yeah. someone gets a new lung or a new kidney it can get rejected because the body knows this isn't mine. This isn't of my make, my DNA, my specific. Yeah. And and it's just so it's interesting that it's like they just kept trying. And obviously, as a host, you're programmed. So that's you. you the soul you're programmed to have is you. But the soul yeah. that we're programmed knows that it's not in the right place. So yeah. I just think that that's a really sick concept. Um, and they just keep going. And he, you know, like, and like you said, so the whole seeing William as he's, he's getting older and older. And, and so I, I figured it out the first time they talked and handed him that paper and he looks up at him and his yeah. leg was shaking. I was like, oh yeah. All right. He's a host. I'm yeah. like, this is, that's what they did. You know what I mean? Cause they didn't tell him yet at that point. And, and it, they left mm -hmm. it for a mystery for us. And then he comes back that second time. And I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like just just think about that man just what a crazy concept like he just it is know, a crazy concept just constantly concept. goes back and you know and then you know and later on he tells him you know well your what you know your wife's dead you know your wife died of a stroke he's he's like my wife killed herself you know like it's just like what else does william have he's got this this in the it, park you know right yeah he 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 mentions you know at the end of the uh well the last time that he speaks with with james he's like people aren't meant to live forever and i mean that's that's exactly it's it, it's just straight to the point you know what i mean and that kind of freaks him out and it, it, it would be interesting to see kind of how they 
how they did that step by step and how they were able, because I, I think one part was that was really was was cool and and I'm, I was curious about is the fact that James knew when he realized he died and he knew I mean obviously he knew he was passing he knew what the what the project was right to to, to make him a host so it, it's it's far beyond the 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 capabilities of say Dolores or anything like for you to know that you were a human and now that you're a host right it, but, it's, but- it's, is is crazy right and then what does he say to him william says to him but if you but if you can't tell does it matter right is that the line he said to remember he said i think it was that was the line he says if you can't tell the difference then does it matter yeah does it matter think about it does it that that makes perfect sense does it matter does Mm -hmm. it if you feel like a you if you feel like you then does it matter that, that you're not that you're not in your body like you that was the whole. What did you think? So yeah. that's why that's why I brought up the other thing, you know, a minute ago about that the the, the mind itself knows. Yeah. You know? Anyway, and he says uh, James says um, uh, you aim to cheat the devil. You owe him an offering. You owe him, you owe him an offering. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and we heard that line a bunch over of times. Over and over. But, you know. Yeah. It this was fantastic, dude. This yeah. episode was so good. This episode had it me on my really seat. Good. And then later on when Elsie and Bernard make their way into that chamber and she's uh-huh. like, I'm getting in this door. And he's like, uh, I don't, he's like, what were they doing down here? And, and I'm thinking like, Oh my God, is this like Jurassic world? Is this yeah. Jurassic Park? What do they make down there? But it's yeah. James, you know? And it's like, it's just, it was so great. So speaking of Bernard, that, that man, that dude's a killer. <laughs> I mean, yes. being controlled, obviously, but we find out a lot of things, Mike, and we find out mm-hmm. that. So not only do we, do we find out, they give us a lot in this episode. Not only did we find mm-hmm. out, like, obviously that was one of the main purposes of this this whole endeavor, right? Or why he got Delos to come on. Yeah. Is to give him the opportunity. Imagine to how on. much someone would pay. Oh, please. To, for the, to but for those, for, for those over rich, though, that's the thing. Like, <sighs> They would give. They would give their, their wife's uterus have, if they could, you know? Yeah, and you have your your your... I mean, I don't know how much of, but you have a part of who you... Like, you know... You know what I mean? You, he, you know, James knew that uh, his wife, he knew his daughter, he knew his granddaughter. So it's like, it, it's kind of crazy. But that's because... the thing. They, they <laughs> created those. So they, so we see this, th- that this thing called the control unit, which is the brain, mm-hmm. which is, which is what they're using. So uh, I, I, you know, I think it, we, it's safe to assume that Robert yeah. or, or maybe not. Was it William or Robert that sent Bernard to get that? You think it would be Robert, right? That sent Bernard to get that control unit because those that was a special place. Excuse me. That yeah. was a special place where they had the drone hosts and they were making these control units. All right. So Bernard's there. They made that control unit and they killed everybody. He killed he had all the humans killed and he and the drone hosts killed themselves. Okay? Which doesn't make much sense because if they really wanted to, couldn't they just get the data out of the drone? Even though it's dead, it's just because it's not functioning doesn't mean that it can't. They can't grab the data because they do it anyway from dead yeah, hosts. So my point is, who is this construct? I'm sorry, this control unit for? Is it for Ford? Is it for William? Do you I, think William would do that, considering he knows what happened? No, that it no. doesn't matter. But does think, Ford? You know, so William, who's it for? William says people aren't. Mi- so you don't think it's forever. William? So, I don't, so do you think I, I'm it's thinking. Ford? Listen, to get into Ford. We know that he's able Where to patch. He? He's Where able to he? patch in. He's everywhere. But he's, how is he? In, so he's an AI construct. Is that what you think? I'm thinking, yeah, he's. So you think um, he's dead? Wait, wait. Let me tell you my theory. This is okay. So, I, so I'm going to tell you guys my theory. I, I was just telling Mike this off camera. My theory is that right before the uprising, in in the end of season two, before they were given control. Oh, and the ability to hurt humans and stuff. I don't remember the exact thing. I could be wrong, guys. But what if... And in fact, I think we might have even said this last season. What if um, that that Ford was a host? That's how Dolores was able to shoot him and kill him because hosts can kill hosts, right? But yeah. what if that was a host and the real Ford is still alive? Now, I remember I remember the three of us, you, me, and Jesse, talking about this. Yeah. 
I think this was a theory that that the, that one of us or all of us. We, I, I'm pretty sure we definitely talked about this. I mean, that, yeah, that, that 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 could have been a host of him, and that yeah. he's still alive. So let's just if you so so let's just say he's not alive, but he uploaded himself, you know, as a as an AI construct in, in into this, something. Yeah, exactly. He's. Or is he alive somewhere controlling everyone through a little tablet? See, so what what do you think? Like what I think that he I think he's he's dead. I mean, for whatever reason, you know, his I don't necessarily think that he knew that he was gonna die to the hands of Dolores in that situation and that but it you know, but like I did, did though. It's it's like a um uh what's it, it's like he has that safe that safety net to well, all right, well, when I die or wh- however way that is, I'm still going to be able to control and do the things and speak do you, to you. And, do you think, but do you died. think that because, do you think that Ford, unlike James Delos, mm. is okay with that? And that he's, he's not a body. He's just, he's, he's, he's an artificial intelligence based off of Ford in a computer somewhere. And he's okay with that. I think if anyone would be okay with that, it would be Ford. That Ford, Ford would be fine with shedding the mortal coil and being mm. like, "Well, I'm gonna put myself in this, and now I'll continue my thing." Because they obviously can get a human consciousness in, in a host. They obviously yeah. can do it. And Bernard also says to Elsie, "Ford is dead," and she because she didn't know at the time and all this well, kind of stuff. So, well, he thinks but, he's dead. Yeah, I mean, but well, but Bernard being tapped in. Being a host and you know well, not I mean? anymore though he's not being controlled. That's the thing. He's now. not now being he's controlled, not being but controlled. I just I I do believe without a shadow of a doubt that that was human for that Dolores shot. So so I so I think that I think if anything, what <laughs> the house coming down around you? Right, my freaking think, big dog. Yeah, I think if anything, Ford allowed himself and made himself you know put it. He put himself into into a computer. He doesn't care about the body. And he's and that's how he's running this game because he's been able he talks through Lawrence's daughter. He's he talked through the little Charles boy. Um mm-hmm. it's like Charles, what? Robert Yeah, Clark little boy. Little Robert boy. Right in yeah. season in episode one. He um you know, so he's following him oh, through 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 um, the um the, the pariah when the guy's in the pariah. In pariah right, right, yeah. yeah. Um uh uh you know He he's watching. You know what I mean? He's, so he's obviously somehow He's alive in one in one way, shape, or form. He's continuing to be Ford somewhere else, and and I'm sure we're gonna find that. Hell, that's he gonna might be, be at the that's center. Be that question. He might be at the center, dude, of where where William is going. Because what it's is like, what's William still looking for, right? That's hey, that's maybe yeah, maybe that is maybe that is. It's gonna be like um, remember the Jetsons and 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 George had Uniblab, you know the the yep, that was his in his yeah his stupid computer <laughs> his computer with and, the face on it yeah yeah it's I can see them getting to a place like that and you know I, I don't know and Listen. it's Uniblab and he doesn't want to do anything <laughs> for him and never wants to do anything for him he's always oh, asking George. him to do stuff yeah. but no you're right yeah exactly exactly it's gonna he's gonna get there and it's gonna be you know. He's going to be like, oh, okay. So maybe that's where William's going because yeah. that's the center. So so what's that quote that that Robert says to him through through Lawrence's daughter? Oh, um if you're if you're looking forward, you're looking in the wrong direction, she says. So to me that means that the keys the keys to William's success in, in in solving this puzzle and getting to the end of this game is is going back so we're gonna so now that he said that it, it you know his, from his past like his past right demons, so you know or, that means we're gonna get more um the, the daughter yeah we're gonna get more of, of younger william um which is great because i love that actor jimmy uh smith no jimmy oh, i'm sorry jimmy I, I can't i can't remember his last name i have to look it up uh but his name his, his first name is jimmy the actor um yeah. he was always on uh, on always sending Philadelphia. Anyway, I can see I can see it being based on the Man in Black and maybe some kind of a relationship with this door. I don't necessarily think it's gonna be an old Will thing, a young Will thing. I think it's gonna be more. You have to like she's gonna be the key for something. So 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 tell me. So let's what happened. We have Grace. We have the, yes. we find out that that girl is is uh is grace her name is grace that that that's his daughter um jimmy simpson sorry i'm sorry i had to find his name simpson sorry i said smith (laughs) no jimmy simpson i love that dude um yeah so he 
man. So she's okay. So so she. You could tell that they don't have a great relationship, right? He's she know. Oh, I'm no. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. See. Yeah. So you, when uh when the Confederate Ollies were, were with you know gonna looking for the whatever the weapons and whatnot, and he says, "How would your daughter, you know, whatever like that?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, well, she doesn't really like me very much," type of thing. Oh, yeah. So we get that, and then at the end, she's like, "Hey, Dad," and he's like, "Oh, hey." You're like, yeah. what are you doing here? Like, so obviously, so what happened was the mom kills herself. The daughter blames the, uh, William and Harris, right? Meanwhile, but she's so much like him. She's She ends up in the Raj doing her own thing. She had that book yeah. when we first met her and with the mat. So she's doing her. She's just like her dad, just yeah. like her dad. And she probably resents that. Hell, the mom, I bet you, I bet you anything if we find out that it was the, that the mom couldn't take that, the two of them, that he was obsessed with what he was doing with the park. And, you know, the fact that that was her dad and her dad, you know, maybe she didn't, maybe she didn't like the fact that her dad was trying to live forever and he was helping the dad trying to live forever. You know, she could have depression, you know, and then the daughter's also like, like the husband, you know, I think we're going we're gonna to learn more about that. You know, it's I'm like, it's, just, of... it's, it's, it's starting to look like it might, that might be some type of, you know, backstory. Yeah. I mean, I'm creating the family drama, but hell, why not? So, so well, it's also makes sense to why, um, you know, by the end you realizing, because remember when they're trapped, when, when she's tied up with, with stubs, mm -hmm. right? Stubs. Yeah. Um, with the, with the native Americans, all that kind of stuff, you knew that they, they knew each other. And that makes sense by the end of the episode. Like, oh, shoot. No wonder she would know this guy is because she's, she's the daughter of the guy that basically uh, yeah, run that's that runs it. it yeah. It's cool, too, because we didn't necessarily know the men in black's part or position um, until this episode. Because well, until this he's, season, I would when, say, because we well, found no, out when that he's visiting when he but we didn't know to that. All right, let me just get my okay, point. Okay, 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 okay. So when the Men in Black is visiting James Delos, and he walks out of the room, and the one, and um, the one scientist or whatever is saying, yeah. "Sir, what should we do? What should we do? Should we terminate him again?" He's like, "No, just let him." So we know that he has that position of power still. We never saw. We just, I myself thought that Ed Harris was. Um, just just roaming around the park, that maybe he didn't have the influence or that title in Delos, but we know that he still does. Oh, see, I see. No, I I through last season. Last season, we figured it out that he he's he's someone that's that's working like he's he's one of the main guys of the park. So I, this is something maybe you missed it or or maybe I I I, 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 I just yeah I just. By the end of season two, it was like, oh no, this guy is, he because some, somebody says it, yeah, you know, somebody says it, and it was like, oh, this guy's the one that I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'd say I knew he was running the park, but I knew he was, he yeah. was instrumental in what the park because it was his park at that point. Well, I mean, yeah. we learned that, yeah, we learned the but young way, look, stuff, but lots of great stuff. The 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 backstory for William is just tragic, and what's so sick about it is seeing. I love how they did it. I love how they did it. They gave us Ed Harris William as a as a just a cold stone killer. And he's been here for years. You think he's just a patron that just getting his rocks off, fucking killing the same people over and over because he's a, a sadist. Right? And then you get to see old William, I'm sorry, young William, the bright eyed. You know, not even married yet or, or newly married, whatever it was. Right. I think he said you're marrying my sister. I don't think I don't even think they were married yet at that point when um, uh, uh, what's what what's the uh, the brother the, the Logan son, Logan. I was going to say Lucas, uh, you know, like he, so they were still like, you know what I mean? And then and then they 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 started out here and then they merge, 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 merge. And now it's beautiful. It's so great how they've been able to take us from two extremes and meet in the middle and now we move forward yeah. and we have a really clear and not only are we here's the other cool thing not only are we moving forward with that character we're also going backwards and seeing more so yeah they give us a lot of wonderful I mean, wonderful I'm, I'm absolutely loving williams he's my favorite character just just because because of everything that he's gone through and what and how we now know what the we he's the only character besides dolores that we know 
why he's the way he is. You know, yeah. at least at least like yeah. at least eighty percent. You know. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, man, I think, uh, anything else to add? Cause I think, I think we've, yeah, no, it's just, you know, it was, it was, um, one of my, I mean, listen, I said it a couple of times, this, 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 uh, recording, this video, uh, we got a lot of bombshell stuff and, you know, we didn't have anything with Dolores. We didn't have anything with Maeve. We didn't have, you know, anything oh, with that's Teddy. Coming, man. So it was, it was cool that yeah, it is, it is coming. Um, especially after the prior episode. Oh, and wait, how you, that left wait, you didn't watch the coming attractions? The samurai, so. No, 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 no. Oh no, dude. No. Yeah. We're, we're, um, we're fully in, we're fully in Shogun world <laughs> in next episode, dude. Yeah. It just, like I said, it was just, it was more confined with only a few different characters, a lot of different timelines, but relatively the same yeah um people and we got answers about lc and stuff like that so it's cool all right well i think that is gonna do it this time around uh thank you once again for all the comments for watching for supporting we love you guys it's it's fantastic our, our channel's growing uh so uh please tell more people share it do whatever you got to do um if you guys like what we do here uh yeah just just you know thanks for the support and the love we appreciate it right Absolutely, absolutely. Check us out, Third Person Pod, on all the social medias, and have a listen to us on Instagram. Oh, Instagram, iTunes, I should say. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's going to do it. We'll see you guys next time for Westworld.